Oh, it's been a brutal winter for most of the country, but has it been minus 60 degrees cold? Minus 60 degrees Celsius is how cold it gets on a regular basis in Oymyakon, a tiny Russian village known as the coldest town on planet Earth. Welcome back to What's Trending, I'm Grant Pardee. Now it seems crazy that anyone would choose to live in the coldest place on Earth, but this northern Siberian town is actually called home by about 500 people. They proudly call themselves the Pole of Cold. That's what that sign says there. And for good reason. Even just a few minutes outside brings a high risk of frostbite. In northern Russia, it's so cold, How cold is it? It's so cold that the eyelashes on your face will freeze while you're outside. I mean, look at this. Snow lashes seems likely to become the next big trend on Instagram too, right? Like all the babes are gonna be heading to Russia to get a good frozen lash gram. Even wearing glasses outside is dangerous, not just because they're gonna fog up, but because they could literally become frozen right to your face. So I'm definitely not going there. Ah, but that's just a small tip of the iceberg because there are so, so, so many inconveniences to living in a place that is regularly freezing cold. Like indoor plumbing, something we definitely take for granted. That's impossible when the ground is frozen. So all the toilets are outhouses, which kind of makes pooping your pants seem like the better alternative just for the warmth. Or how about the fact that planes can't fly into the area at any point in the winter, so you're just kind of stranded there until summer. Or cars, they need to be in heated garages at all times. If they're outside, they have to be kept running. Otherwise, they're just gonna die and never be able to restart. Even death itself is no relief because there's nowhere to put you. You can't dig a grave in frozen tundra, so funerals first need a bonfire to warm the earth. And because the ground is frozen solid, it means they can't grow any crops. So what are they eating in Oymyakon? Just soup and meat all day, every day. That and vodka. Yup, lots and lots of vodka. There's only one store in this little village, but guess what they have? Yeah, vodka. The photographer who gathered all of these photos, named Amos Chapel, said that's how the residents cope with life here. But hey, don't get scared about visiting because there's lots to see and do in beautiful, scenic Oymyakon. Like swimming. You could go swimming in the local thermal springs. In fact, Oymyakon literally translates to unfrozen water, and back in the old days, this was a place that herders would bring their reindeer to just for the warm water that this drunk doofus right here is bathing in. And bicycling. You could, um, you could be on your bicycle. I don't know why, but you could. Hey, and along the way, maybe you meet some nice dogs. Yeah, dogs. They're always happy to see you. And then there's this horse. And when you've had your fill of small town life in Oymyakon, you can head on over to the big city of Yakutsk. With a population of 300,000, attractions in Yakutsk include indoor plumbing and a museum dedicated to wooly mammoths. And look, it's not like Northern Siberia is all winter all the time, just most of the time. They do technically have summer, and the temperatures are normal-ish summer temperatures, mid 60s, mid 70s. You can have a nice little barbecue there. Doesn't seem so bad. But the funny thing is, residents in Oymyakon look at summer the way that we look at winter. They hate it. The locals complain about the weather way more in the summer than they do in the winter. Go figure. So what do you think? Is this a place that you wanna visit? Does it make you feel a little bit better about having to preheat your car in the morning? Or does this seem like the kind of place where you'd probably stumble across some white walkers from Game of Thrones? Well, we wanna know what you think. Comment below, tell us your travel plans, and for more internet culture, head to whatstrending.com.